guys, so I'm back with another video and today's video is actually a very requested one. A lot of you have been asking me about uh, the basic skincare uh, routine which I follow or uh, which actually this is a sort of routine which everyone can follow even teenagers well teenagers i mean and i really don't want this video to be product specific i just want um, to explain the basics of a skin care like why cleansing is important why toning is important why moisturizing is important so without any further ado let's get started okay so i guess i'm looking extremely pumped because i had a nice sleep i've been sleeping almost whole day and now i am here up for shooting so yeah so the first step in your skincare should be cleansing you should uh, memorize this term ctm c means cleansing t means toning and m for moisturizing okay all right so this is a thing which you have to follow each and every day and in daytime you have to apply a sunscreen as well after moisturizing so without any further ado let's <coughs> i'm sorry let's get started so for face wash i'm using this jove's activated charcoal detoxifying face wash so i took a small pump in my hand and I will start applying this on my face and since I do not have a sink in front of me I'll take some water and uh, create a foam on my face properly I will lather this face wash in my hands and I will apply this properly on my face Cleansing is actually very important since I have normal to combination you can say normal to oily skin So I am actually using a foam based face wash and this is uh, an activated charcoal one from Jovis Joves whatever you say But uh, you can use whatever face wash you like for oily skin I will always recommend you should go for a foam based face wash Because it actually it dissolves your sebum and all the grime and dirt which is on your face And it's extremely good for your skin but yeah maybe Make sure to tone your face uh, afterwards with a toner i'll tell you later about it okay and for dry skin beauties try to use a cream based cleanser that's really good because it won't dry your face as you can see i've already lathered my face and i will massage my face properly because i've applied makeup for a whole day so i really want my skin to be clean and nice Get your neck as well, okay? Do not. All right, so I guess I'm done. I'll go and wash my face and I'll be back. So ideally if uh, I was uh, doing my normal skincare routine I would have applied a toner afterwards but uh, now I need to exfoliate my face. Um, if you have normal skin you can exfoliate like once or twice a week and if you have oily skin try to exfoliate for your face uh, at least two to three times and if you have dry skin then I guess like once or twice is enough like normal skin you can do like once twice just in case you feel that you have a lot of dirt and everything exfoliate your face but not more than twice for dry skin not more than twice for normal skin oily skin beauties can go for like thrice for scrub i'm using the same exfoliator from jove's jove's whatever you say this one is from the activated charcoal detoxifying range and um, this is this is really good especially if you're wearing heavy makeup and everything so i will use this brush to apply my scrub because I'm bougie like that. I've got this nice tray which I use for facials like if I do facials as well so I use this on my client. This is not a face pack so you don't have to be like you know that specific regarding the pattern of how I'm applying this. Just apply it normally. So I'm done applying my scrub. What I like to do, I like to keep my scrub for like 2-3 minutes and then I spritz my face with some water and then I scrub my face lightly because this is actually a scrub with 
the little granules so you should you don't have to be harsh on your face while scrubbing your face or else it will create micro tears on your face and um, in the long run it's gonna harm your skin so do not do that and uh, in case if you're not okay with these micro uh, beads in your scrub then uh, try to use a chemical exfoliator uh, those gel based exfoliants which uh, exfoliate your face as well and they do not have granules so this that is not going to harm your skin and those are really mild on your skin so you can do that all right so it's already two three four five minutes i believe i will spritz my face with some water now it's working have to scrub your face lightly don't be harsh this is your skin okay and you have to live with this for your whole life if you will not love your skin it won't love your back and you will look ugly <laughs> I mean I'm, I'm today right now I'm very high on energy I had a nice sleep guys so that's why I'm talking a lot and scrubbing my face lightly concentrate on these areas because you get blackheads and whiteheads here I am actually doing an in-depth skincare which you can follow and as I've, I guess I've already told you that you have to scrub your face twice if you have double screen thrice if you have oily skin and if you have dry skin just once or twice that's more than enough I guess I'm done with my scrubbing so I'll quickly go and wash my face and then I'll come back with the next step Okay, alright, so I've washed my face already and my face is all nice and clean. So just for my nose, I like to use a peel off mask. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> so I better keep my phone in silent mode. So I am using this activated charcoal detoxifying peel off mask from Jovis, Jovis, whatever you say. Um, I will apply this just on my nose because I like to strip off the blackheads and whiteheads or whatever is here. Uh, sometimes if I'm feeling very congested on my skin, only then I apply this on my whole face because it actually waxes all the hair and I, I, I don't think I need anything like that right now. So I will apply this just on my nose. So I'm done, I'll wait for this to dry, it takes about 10 minutes I believe and after that I'll peel it off. Okay, so it's almost dry now and now I will peel this off. Wow, it's not that painful as compared to other peel off waxes which I've used. I need to wash this off because this is still a little wet. So yeah, I really don't have a lot of blackheads and whiteheads but I don't know if, if you can see that. Okay, so finally time for face mask. I'm using this face mask from Joves. So I'll uh, take a brush and I'll start applying this on my face. A lot of vloggers you know applying their face mask like this you should never ever do this because this is going to stretch your skin in downward direction so you should not do this this is not the right way apply your face mask like this
I see people ignoring their neck all the time. Do not ever do that. Or else your neck will start aging really quick. Many times, you know, we take care of our face, but we always, always, always ignore our neck, which is not a good thing. All right, so since I'm done applying my face back, now let me tell you some facts regarding this. Since I'm normal to oily skin, that's why I'm using a clay-based face mask. But, but if you have dry skin, try to avoid using these clay masks. Um, or just in case if you use this, try to this try to moisturize your face afterwards really, really, really nicely or else it's gonna dry your skin. And the frequency for face mask is like twice in a week or maybe once in a week. Like if you have dry skin, use it, oh, I'm sorry, I'm clumsy like that. Use it uh, once in a week and uh, if you have uh, oily skin, then you can use this like twice in a week, but not more than twice in a week. Twice in a week is enough. Okay, all right. So. I'll keep this for uh, around 15 minutes. I'll wait this for uh, to dry and after that I'll come after washing my face. It's quite dry now. I'll spread some water again on my face and I will massage it and then I'll wipe it off and then wash it off, off afterwards. emulsified this really nicely I'll come and uh, I'll come after washing this off okay so I've washed my face and oh my god my skin feels so nice I don't know if that is visible on camera or not so after this I will use a toner ideally I use a toner I use this one from plum the green tea range one this is really good but these days I'm using this L'Oreal Revital Lift Crystal Micro Essence and this one is really good like I really um, I'm not a big fan of L'Oreal and all of that when it comes to skincare but uh, when I started using I've used quite a bit like this much I've been using this for around 10-15 days and it has shown really great results so ideally you should use uh, take this in a cotton pad, but I like to take some in my hands just like so And oh, oh, I dropped some I'll take some with my in my hand and I'll pat my face This smells lovely just like some nice high-end very light perfume apply on your neck to not forget your neck ever <laughs> okay so after that I like to use a moisturizer and I know this is a very cheap moisturizer from VLCC but this is my holy grail when it is winters I mean I love this moisturizer and in summer season I like to use the Lavang Rage which is absolutely beautiful by the way after washing your face you should use a toner because face wash usually are alkaline in nature and our skin is slightly on the acidic side the oilier the more acidic okay so you should always use a toner because toner balances the ph level of our skin but since i was using a lot of skincare and all that's why i prefer to apply toner after my face mask i mean basically when i don't have to apply water so that it gets absorbed on my face okay so you have to use toner every time you wash your face you should not skip that and since i'm using this skincare at night time that's why i won't be applying any sunscreen but ideally in daytime you should apply your sunscreen for my lips i'm using this lip balm from laneige my trusty lip balm i don't know what i'll do without this lip balm i mean this is the only lip balm which i have actually finished I've got around four to five 
tapas of this and uh, this is amazing for my under eye cream i use this one from o3 uh, I, I mean i'm using this for about a week and i really like this eye cream because my eyes are pretty sensitive and uh, this does not create any sort of problem usually what i face with my under eye creams that i tend to get teary after using under eye creams but this one is not like that i'm not very sure of the results i am still using this this product is still under my review use your light uh, uh, ring finger and massage your eyes with very light hand strokes I mean use your right ring finger I don't know why I always use my index finger I shouldn't And yeah try to massage these smile lines and everything just for like 2 3 minutes every day All right guys so I'm done with my skincare routine I hope that you find this video helpful I will see you guys in the next video take care bye bye and yeah one more thing please like share and subscribe yeah bahut mehnat hoti hai video banane mein like I'm shooting videos since morning um, back to back shooting actually so please it will mean a lot to me if you will like subscribe share comment like do whatever you want please 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 ask your friends to subscribe and share this video as much as possible i will see you guys in the next video i love you all so much take care bye